Welcome back fellow coders, Jared Leary here with Boot Up. In this video I'm going to show you how to code your jump scare. So we're going to start off by coding our backdrops. So we're going to click where it says stage. And you'll notice that we don't have motion blocks and we have less looks blocks than normal. That's okay. So this is our stage. It can't do as much as our sprites can. But we're going to do something pretty neat with it. So we always want to start with an event. And in this case we're going to say when we press the green flag. So when somebody presses this, let me zoom in for you. We want it to switch to our first backdrop. Then after that, we want it to wait a little bit, switch to the next one, wait a little bit, switch to the next one. So just like a slideshow. So we're going to do that using some looks blocks. And we're going to use a block to switch it to a backdrop. I'm going to switch it to the very first one, which is the blank one, which just says backdrop one. Next, we're going to have the wait, next backdrop, wait, next backdrop. Now, because it's the same thing over and over, what we're actually going to do is use a repeat to make it a little bit easier. Now, it says right here that we have seven backdrops, so we're going to repeat something six more times, so that way we switch to the remaining six after our very first one. So what we're going to need is a repeat block, and we're going to say, hey, do something six times, not ten times. And like I said before, we want to start with a wait. So we're going to say, hey, let's wait for, I don't know, two seconds, maybe three seconds. doesn't matter. And then on our looks blocks, we want it to go to next backdrop. So I'm going to press the green flag, and I'll show you what it does now. So switch to the blank one. It's waiting two seconds. Goes to the next one. Waits two more. Goes to the next one. Waits. Next one, etc. So our slideshow is working. All we want to do is just make sure that it doesn't switch back to the blank one at the very end. Stay on Grand Canyon. Awesome. Okay, so now that we have a functioning slideshow, we want to make a uh, jump scare appear. So for our ghost, what we want to do when we first start off is we want to hide our ghost, so that way we can't see it. And then we'll wait a little bit, and then we're going to make it pop up and maybe make a sound or something. So again, we're going to start with a green flag. So when the green flag is clicked, we don't want anyone to see our ghost right away. So we're going to use the looks block that says hide. So when it's clicked, it's just going to go away. No one's going to know it's there. And then we're going to wait a while. After we wait a while, it's going to show up and make some noise. So we could say wait for maybe seven seconds. Sounds like a good number to me. And then once it's done waiting, we want it to actually see it. So we're going to use a show block. And then we're going to make some kind of a sound. So I'm going to go to sounds. And I'm going to choose one of the library ones. And let's go with a human sound. And yeah, that sounds good. OK, so I click on it. Click OK. Awesome. Now all I have to do is just add this. So this simple amount of code right here should make it so that our ghost appears after seven seconds. Let's find out. Okay, it's blank. We don't see our ghost. It's still waiting right here. Let's see if it appears. <gasps> yeah, I think that's going to work great. Go ahead and try using this code for your jump scare and then using this code for your slideshow.